welcome back to another episode with the Sokolis, your girl Chris here, and I'm sitting here with a bunch of special ladies, some of the founders of Sokol Girls Rock, and you will hear more about that in a second, but I want to go around and have you guys introduce yourselves and tell me what you guys do with the foundation. My name is Carlisle Honoré, I'm the Vice President of Sokol Girls Rock. Okay. My name is Denise, I'm the Treasurer of Sokol Girls Rock. I'm Natasha, I'm, I'm Founder and Executive Director. Okay. I'm Treasure, and I am the social strategist. Okay. And I'm Jade. I am the founder of the Ubuntu Given Fund mm -hmm. and affiliated with Silk so okay. Girls Rock. I'm Janine, and I sit as the board president. Okay. Now, let's get into this. Silk Girls Rock. First thing, when I heard their name, I said, all right, I want to party with these ladies. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, let us know, what is Silk Girls Rock? So it is a party, but a party of a different kind. It's a social initiative party, right? Mm -hmm. So what we are doing is we are galvanizing, um, mobilizing women of Caribbean descent to provide service to the region. Okay. Um, and what that looks like is, uh, for example, um, yourself, you um, conduct interviews, you have a marketing and communications background. So let's say there's an organization in Trinidad or Dominican Republic that needs support with that. We match you with that organization. You provide that service pro bono in addition to helping to fundraise for the organization through the Ubuntu, Ubuntu Giving Fund, which mm -hmm. Jane will talk about more later. Okay. Now what made you guys want to form Sopa Girls Rock? Like how did it come about? So, so essentially, um, just recognizing that there's a need in the region mm -hmm. um, and recognizing that there are organizations there are trying to f meet that need, mm -hmm. um, whether it's for youth development, gender equity, um, or sexual reproductive health, right? Um, there's a need, and um, a lot of these organizations uh, don't have the, um, the staff support or the financial support to really mm -hmm. drive and expand their work. So we just figured, you know, mm -hmm. why not us? Right. Um, and heads forth, so girls rock. Yeah, and they're all of Caribbean descent. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We have one Niger because yeah. we're real diasporic people. Yes. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Okay, now tell me about some of the organizations that you guys work with currently. Okay, so currently we have um, partnerships with the Ubuntu Giving Fund. Now, before I before I let you carry on, what is what is that exactly? Mm -hmm. So that Ubuntu Giving Fund activates the power of giving of the individual okay. so everyone can be a philanthropist and through small amounts of money we ensure that people are able to work collectively to fund causes that are important to them mm -hmm. and we're doing that together with so the girls rock mm -hmm. where people are able to activate their giving small amounts twenty five dollars rally their friends and their their families in order to support organizations that are important to them mm -hmm. and we're doing that in the caribbean okay yeah. Sorry, I cut you off. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> um, and uh, another organization that we're partnering with is the Melissa Skerritt Foundation, based out of Dominica. Mm -hmm. And as we all know, Dominica was um, uh, severely impacted yeah. by Hurricane Maria. Um, so I'll let Denise talk more about that. Well, the Melissa Skerritt Foundation is um, based in Dominica, and Melissa is the Prime Minister's wife, and she took on the foundation to help the elderly and kids. Mm -hmm. Just to uh, Four years now, she's been doing adopt a child um, campaign, and that helps kids when they go back to school. She gives books and facilities. So, so Soka Girls would like to help them. So we're gonna help the elderly and the kids, mm -hmm. give them the needs like diapers, wipes, whatever they need. We're gonna have care packets set up for them, and we're gonna raise funds to donate to to the elderly and the kids. Sounds awesome. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. And something that Caribbean definitely needs. Um, yes. So how are you how are you hoping to collaborate? Yeah. Like if, like your services and stuff with you know organizations back in the Caribbean in the islands. Um so one initiative that we are launching this November is with the Caribbean Collaborative based out of Barbados. And they are launching Giving Tuesday for the first time in Barbados. Mm -hmm. Right now, Giving Tuesday is only in Dominica, uh, the Dominican Republic, excuse me, and Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And essentially, it's an international um, galvanization of people supporting causes throughout the world. Um, and how we are working with Barbados um, is, or the Caribbean Collaborative, um, is they're going to be uh, asking folks to either donate blood, donate books, or take an own selfie. Mm -hmm. So what we, our contribution to that movement is a book, no, a small book donation, mm -hmm. um, and like uh, a physical book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, which will be uh, then um, distributed out to uh, organizations, uh, literacy-based organizations. Okay. Any other ways you guys collaborate with with other? 
foundations organizations in the Caribbean? So right now we are in the process of bringing on our first partners. Mm -hmm. um, so we've, we've had conversations with uh, organizations in Jamaica, Trinidad and, Bar and Barbados, excuse me. And um, soon everyone will learn who we're launching with. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh. With our, <laughs> <That's a secret. laughs> with our first partners, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Now, how do you guys feel the Caribbean would benefit from something like this? Because it's definitely, well, I, I heard more about it behind the scenes, but it's definitely <laughs> something that we need, but I want you to tell everybody out there, like, how is it that this is going to, you know, help us more over there? Okay. So, um, as I said before, you know, these organizations are meeting critical needs, whether it is um, an organization like um, Women's Center in Jamaica that is providing um, sexual reproductive health for young girls, mm -hmm. young, girl, young mothers, excuse me, or whether it's an organization like Create Future Good out of Trinidad, which is um, creating uh, child awareness advocacy campaigns and using the young people to create the campaigns, um, or whether it's I Am A Girl Barbados, uh, which is providing um, just a holistic, comprehensive um, support for young girls. Um, and one of their mission, one of their goals actually is to build a transitional housing facility in Barbados for young women who've been in foster care and are looking to transition into adulthood. Okay. So how does it benefit? It is us in outside of the region um, mobilizing again to provide these organizations with technical support. So for example, I Am A Girl Barbados needs support with um, building out um, uh, you know, uh, the structure for their next operating year. So if, if someone has um, a legal background or just general organizational development uh, um, experience, mm -hmm. that would be such a support for them right mm -hmm. now. Um, so the benefit is, again, the organization getting that hardcore skill that we have here and also the financial support through you tapping into your network again right. to give that small amount of $25. And I also think it's just empowering everybody at every level, right? Mm -hmm. So other than the people who have the need, it also kind of allows us who have resources, mm -hmm. who have been well educated or, or um, received great opportunities to be able to use our skills for mm -hmm. our own you right. know what i mean mm -hmm. so i think on all sides um that's really one of the benefits right mm -hmm. like we you know i've learned a lot as being an artist up here which is a privilege right mm -hmm. being able to live in a city like new york and afford your life mm -hmm. as an artist but to be able to contribute some of those skills to something that's going to benefit someone who doesn't even really have the physical means to do that for themselves that's just as empowering to me as it is for them yeah you know so i think that's really what we want people to understand that you know we have a joyous life uh we have so much to be thankful for and we have so much to give but you know it really doesn't take a lot it really doesn't take right. much money it doesn't yeah. take much time right now what are your you ladies what are your short-term goals for soka girls rock like where do you see let's say year time Okay. What do you see happening? So this is our inaugural year, so we're five to six months into our first year. And um, we are going to be launching our two volunteer programs, one for university students called Legacy Fellows, and mm -hmm. one for um, our working professionals like ourselves called All of We. And that application will launch November 15th. And our short-term goal for that for our first year is to be able to mobilize at least six to 12 volunteers who would provide 300 hours of service and uh, $1,500 in um, uh, donation support to organizations in the region. Okay. So you're looking for not only students, but women like ourselves. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay. And willing to volunteer. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how does someone like reach out to you guys? So go to our website, mm -hmm. www.socagirlsrock.org. Mm -hmm. um, our application, as I uh, mentioned, will be launching for um, November 15th. Uh, one, the application for Legacy Fellows, and in order to be, a to be considered to be a Legacy Fellow, you must be going into your senior year um, of college in 2018. Okay. Um, and if you visit the website, you'll learn more about that program. And then the next would be All OE. So mm -hmm. All OE, right? All OE can come together and provide service to the Caribbean. So All OE, that application launches on November 15th as well. And it's really, again, um, asking folks, you know, what is your talent? What is your skill? Mm -hmm. Let us know, and we will match you with an organization um, that you can where you can share that talent and skill with. I want to be matched. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and especially like oh, young help. university students too. Yeah. Like we, you know, we've got this power with them in social. So we want them to know, like, while you're building up, like, mm -hmm. activate yourselves mm -hmm. early. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, they're the greatest of social media, mm. right? They know much more than we right? even know. We try to keep up, but Seriously. we want them to be encouraged. Like, please, 
please use your best skills for something. It'll it'll take your life further than you can even imagine, you know? Yeah. I I love what you ladies are doing. I support it 100%. I was serious about matching you up. Okay? What about your social media? So people can follow right. your movement and, you know. Sure. We are on um, Instagram and Facebook. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, definitely, you know, one other cool initiative. We'd love to um, provide, we love to serve, mm -hmm. right? This is a, for socially conscious soca lovers, right? Mm -hmm. But um, we also love to fat. Right. <laughs> and Most play important. mass, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, tre uh, treasure will be going on to Trinidad in what 97 days. I think that was the countdown. Oh man. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, but with that said, um, you can follow us on Instagram, um, where you'll definitely be seeing a new series coming um, in 2018 okay. called Lucy. And anyone that is into fetting um, should know about Lucy, mm -hmm. right? Um, Desha Garcia made a mm -hmm. great contribution to the Soka role when she made that song. And we are going to capitalize on that in a very interesting and unique way. So look out for that. <laughs> okay, I will be on the lookout. You guys be on the lookout too. <laughs> Anything else you want the world to know before we close? Um, that we appreciate uh, your support. Thank you for this interview, and oh, that no we problem. appreciate all those Caribbean women out there that are going to just knock down our door wanting to mm -hmm. serve. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you guys follow us. I have a feeling I'm gonna be hearing a whole lot about you guys <laughs> in your coming years. Thank you, sir. Right. Oh, no thank, you. thank you, ladies. Listen now with me. Thank you. I'm honored to be sitting with y'all. I'm doing like amazing things. All right, guys. Till next time. I will see you guys soon. Peace out.